Welcome to DLM Tutoring. Today, we're going to discuss IXL skill, rotational symmetry. For this skill, it's important to remember that a picture has rotational sy symmetry if it looks exactly the same after being rotated one half turn or less. Which picture has rotational symmetry? Or in other words, which picture can I take and turn it one half turn or less and it look exactly the same that it looks right now? In this case, the only picture that meets that is going to be right here, the sun. Rotational symmetry is quite simple. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can calculate rotational symmetry in a simple way. So if you're going to calculate the rotational symmetry of an image, you would need to first find out what does one section of that image look like? So if we look here, it takes a yellow block and a blue block together to make one section. Then if you count all of them to see how many of those sections are there, you would find out that there are nine. So to be able to figure out how many degrees I would have to turn this, um, this image in order for it to look exactly the same, the least amount of degrees, I'm simply going to divide 360 degrees, the degrees in a circle. I'm going to divide that by how many sections there are, in this case, nine sections. So 360 degrees divided by nine sections means that the image will look the same if you rotate it 40 degrees. It will not look the same if you rotate it more than 50 degrees. So that is how we're going to calculate this. Let's give it a try. This image has rotational symmetry. What is the smallest degrees the smallest number of degrees you will need to rotate the image for it to look the same. So I'm going to count how many sections there are. This makes one, two, three, four, five sections. So I'm going to divide 360 I'm going to divide it by five sections to find out how many degrees. This gives me 72 degrees. So I would need to rotate it 72 degrees in order for it to look the same. Let's try it again. The same type of problem. We need to know the smallest number of degrees you need in order to rotate the image for it to look the same. So I count again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I divide 360 by eight to find my answer. How many degrees to rotate it in the least? This is going to give us 45 degrees. And if you're writing this on a piece of paper, don't forget to give that degree symbol. For our last image, we're looking at this window. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, I'm not sure if this is going to have rotational symmetry. But remember, the definition is that I can turn it one half turn. Or in other words, I can turn it one, two. Those are the number of sections that I have here. So I would divide 360 by the two sections that I have, which means that if I made a full half turn, I would have to rotate it 180 degrees in order to get that rotational symmetry, 180 degrees. Now that you've had an opportunity to see how this looks in practice, give it a try on IXL yourself. Good luck.